Reese and Cameron back from Magnum Bowling Products, and welcome to episode two. Hi everyone, in today's episode we're going to be going into detail about durometer, how it affects on-lane performance, and just how we can go about measuring for it. Durometer is a measurement of the hardness of your bowling ball's cover stock. Reactive resin cover stocks typically have a hardness within the range of 73 to 75, when brand new that is. The USBC has a durometer limitation, whereas a ball cannot be less than 72 durometers, which is why manufacturers target this 73 to 75 range. That way, even with manufacturing deviation, there aren't any recalls for balls being too soft. You might be wondering, if there is this USBC regulation, why do manufacturers target a range so close to that limit? Well, this is because the lower the durometer, the softer the cover stock is, and therefore, the ball will have more lane reaction. In other words, the lower the durometer, the more the cover stock can actually compress down on the lane, giving you a bigger footprint and greater coefficient of friction. Cameron, all this talk about durometer and its significance probably has the audience wondering, how do we go about measuring for it? Sure, so as you can see here, we have a Shore D durometer gauge, and if you release it so that it comes down, there's actually a pin located at the bottom side of this gauge, which is connected to a spring system inside of the gauge. And how it works is the spring actually measures the pressure required to make the pin puncture through the surface of the cover stock. If we come around to the other side, you can see we're measuring around 74 durometers, which is precisely in spec for what a brand new factory fresh reactive resin ball is supposed to be. Now, you might be wondering, how does this relate to the topics we were discussing in episode one? Well, as those essential plasticizers evaporate out of the cover stock, your durometer or hardness actually increases and you won't have the same lane reaction performance as the ball did when it was brand new. Again, in the first video, we mentioned three ways that you can measure the performance characteristics of bowling balls, footprint, durometer, and coefficient of friction. Stay tuned for the next video in which we'll be discussing all the details about footprint.